God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, bless, preserve and keep Justin and Tracy. Mercifully look upon them and fill them with all spiritual blessing, that they may live together in this life, that in the world to come they may have life everlasting. We were standing outside in the middle of winter at night, barefoot and uh, he, he was standing at the balcony and we were standing there around him and he offered his little the mat that he was standing on to a few of us around him so that our feet would like wouldn't be cold and I've also noticed that every time somebody joined our group he would pull a chair and make them feel welcome so that uh, they wouldn't feel left out and I started noticing that wow maybe this guy isn't so scary after all Honestly, the hardest and most difficult thing about dating you was having to say goodbye after every night. And I'm just really glad that we don't have to do that anymore. So Justin, I love you and I look forward to spending every moment with you. To Tracy, my wife, calling you that feels so strange, yet so familiar. Because for what feels like forever, I knew I wanted to give you all of me and share my life with you. You're the most beautiful and genuine person I know, and the warmth of your love has touched every part of my life. When we said our final goodbyes on Thursday night, the last time we see each other before today, the nerves and the anticipation and the excitement finally hit me, and I realized I couldn't wait for today to come. I couldn't wait for tomorrow to come. I can't wait for every day we will have together to come, because whatever happens, wherever you are, I am yours and you are mine. I love you so much, Tracy. You're the best. Ever since I was young, I would look up to you like any younger sister would. You taught me how to get out of trouble, how to stay on the right track in life, but most importantly, you showed me how to be a better person. We came here today because we know that when you realise you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to begin as soon as possible. Does anyone know where that's from? None of you watch good movies. <laughs> In a Christian relationship, often you find couples that are dating will need sort of accountability partners, or in a colloquial term, third wheels. Basically, my job is to shadow their relationship. So if you look at me, I'm in the background just <laughs> shadowing them. Uh, my job is to take photos for them. Um, I get to complete meals for them. I remember when we were just kids, fantasizing about each other's weddings and looking forward to the day when we would be each other's bridesmaids. Well, the day is finally here. I am so happy and excited for you to start this next stage of your life. And I cannot wait to see what God has planned for you and Justin as husband and wife. In the name of God, I declare them to be husband and wife. And what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Justin, may I kiss your bride. Woo! I'm so happy for you that you found someone who loves you wholeheartedly, someone who lifts you higher in life, and someone you can rely on. Justin Tracy has always been a brother and sister in my life that's always been there for me. Even times when times are hard, even when I can, you know, even when it's sad, when I walk out in the rain, they often are the ones who come back and chase me back and give me the umbrella to walk with me. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because He loved us first. So as you two write a new chapter in your story, do not forget you both are His joy and glory. For whom He died atop Calvary Hill, so you both might stand now in love with Him. We're so happy you found that somebody, Justin, and we can't wait to watch the rest of your life unfold with that beautiful girl next to you. 
Here's to Justin and Tracy. I wish you both many endless years of love and happiness. And Tracy, just remember, I have a spare bed in case Justin pisses you off. So I want you to know that I'll try my best to uphold the promises we have made to each other and to do what is right by you before God. I hope that you can be patient with me when I do stupid things and remember the truth that I love you when it might be easy to think that I don't. You don't have to be shy or feel like you need to hide anything because I love you as you are and I want you to share whatever is on your heart and your mind. I pray you will do the same for me too and that together can make the most of this life for God.